We will start to visit the three of the best provinces and is there one of the famous art forms here in the Philippines. First things first, Palawan. Palawan was known as the best world island in the world and become a major tourist destination. No one knows why Palawan is called Palawan. It is speculated that the name may have originated from the Chinese word pa lau yu which means the land of beautiful harbors. This is one of the best places to visit in the Philippines. It's consistently ranked as one of the best islands in the world and for a good reason, it boasts white sand beaches, islands, clear blue waters, a spectacular variety of marine life, shipwreck sites, and also the majestic towering limestone cliffs. Palawan has over 1,700 pristine islands and islets scattered in its four main destinations El Nido, Puerto Princesa, Coron, and San Vicente. Here in Palawan is rich in festivals and rituals as their artworks, so we choose. Pagdiwata Ritual Pagdiwata Ritual is held every month of December on a full moon night. This is from the Tagbanwa tribe of Palawan, which depicts rituals after rice harvest. The rites are held as part of thanksgiving and part of appeal for continued protection by the Diwata or the gods. A crystallized presentation of an ancient nine-day ritual of thanksgiving among the Tagbanwas of Palawan for rice harvest, focused on the Babaylan or priestess and her administrations. Next up, Albay. Albay is a province in the Philippines located in the Bicol region in Luzon. Its capital is the city of Legazpi, the regional center of the whole Bicol region, which is located in the southern foothill of Mayon Volcano, the symbol most associated with the province. Albay is every traveler's memento. For years, Albay has been synonymous to Mayon Volcano, the famous landmark shortlisted in UNESCO's World Heritage Site. Proof to how guests were enticed by its beauty, Albay hosted national and international events. With all the beauty destinations and the warmest welcome it can offer to guests and tourists. Place to visit, Kagsawar Ruins, Mayon Volcano, Daraga Church, and Quintindai Underground River. Step out and 
Albay is home to at least 19 festivals that are celebrated all year round by its different cities and municipalities. Is a Narito and Tabak Festival. Tabak Festival is held in conjunction with the celebration of the city's foundation anniversary. The festival derived its name from a local word, Tabak, meaning Bolo, where the name of the city, Tabaco, was taken from. The recorded history of Tabaco began in 1587 when Franciscan missionaries began converting the inhabitants of the town of Tagsawa to Catholicism. In 1660, Pedro del Alquereso became first permanent minister of Tabaco, an annual festival celebrated every month of June to coincide with the town fiesta in honor for Saint John the Baptist. Last itinerary, Cavite. The name Cavite evolved from the word Cavit or Cavit, meaning hook, referring to the shape of the landlocked coast of Bacoor Bay. It was mispronounced by the Spaniards as Cavite or Cavite, there being no K in Castilla alphabet, then changing W to V so as to confirm their accentuation. Cavite is well known for its connection to the Philippine Revolution in 1898, in which the Philippines became independent from Spanish control. Cavite also hosts ecocultural tourist attraction hidden on its vast landscapes. You will do discover stunning waterfalls, serene lakes, off-beaten beaches, and scenic mountain views. Some place to visit Cabag Cave, Pico de Loro, Corregidor Island, and Milikbik Libik Falls. The last art form, Regada Festival, or also known as Water Festival. The festival moniker was derived from the Spanish word regada which means to water or to sprinkle. Held every 17 to 24 of June since 1996, it is a week-long celebration that is full of culture and plain old fun. Of course, the theme is water. This is comprised of games, street dancing, photo exhibit, trade fair, and concerts. The festival is done three days in celebration of St. John the Baptist.